Hello, BYC Note Pilots. I recently learned that Note Flight users call themselves Note Pilots, so that's what I'll be calling you from here on out. Um, I'm here to do a few tutorials on things that were sort of frequently asked questions, things that I think um, might be helpful to have a full tutorial on. Um, the first is very simple. It's how to measure and remeasure things. Um, my student Lucia actually um, helped me figure this one out. So if I'm messing up on something, you can feel free to send me an email and say, hey, Miss Jess, I, I know exactly how to fix this problem. Let me know and I'll give you a shout out. But anyway, so say we have a lot of measures. I'm just gonna put a bunch of Bs in here just to kind of illustrate the point. All right, look at that. We have a bunch of Bs. <laughs> it's like a swarm of bees. Um, okay, and now we have about eight, eight or nine, ten measures here. Okay, great. So now we have a bunch of measures, and you can see that they begin at each system. Now, I reviewed in my live stream that how we change measures as we go up, how we make sure that we have a lot of measures as we go up to this formatting bar right up here at the top next to parts and save um, and right under general we say show bar numbers under every measure or above every measure excuse me all right and there we go we have all of these measures of bees okay great <laughs> so now if you want to restart your measures it's pretty simple. All you do is you click on the measure that you want to change and you change it to whatever number you want. One. Oh, and I change it to one. And then I press return. And look, it re-measures the numbers going forward. How helpful is that? It's super easy. Let's try it again. What if we want to make four the first measure here? Click on four and you see this phantom number above and there's actually even a cursor there to kind of show me that I can re-input um, numbers as I want. But if I want to make that also measure number one and then you press return and look, I have a measure of three, I have four measures and then I have another three measures. So it's a super easy thing to do, very user friendly. Uh, try it out, but make sure that you don't get too bogged down by um, changing all these measures. Uh, one easy way to go through and make sure that they stay the same going forward is you just have to make sure that you go back in and make sure that you, oops, sorry about that, um, and just make sure that you renumber it the way it needs to be uh, renumbered. So not super easy to change it back after you have uh, re-measured things but you know if you go forward it will pretty much auto correct it as you go forward and see we're back to normal all right thank you tune in for uh, my next video which is going to be about triplets get ready